Okay, guys. Here we are for part two. Let's get on to the beef of the reed, all right? Okay, so let's, let's see. What do we have here? All right. So, we got some karma going on here. I'm hoping what I think isn't happening. So, we're going to go like that. Breathe, guys. Make sure you breathe. Oh, 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 oh. So, I went to, I, I've been to the salt cave twice in a matter of four days. Okay? The centered stone. If you live here in Utah, get to the centered stone. Oh, my God, you guys. It's so amazing, the experience at the salt cave. Um, it, it, so... There's this, there's this guy named his name's Dr. Stone. He used to be a chiropractor. He needed to move his business, so he looked for a new location. Well, he had a daughter-in-law um, that she was interested in um, salt caves and what the benefits were. She's also has, she's quite an artist from, from how he describes it. But anyways, um, so she, and I don't know if his, other people in his family, they traveled around and he did, and they went and visited other salt caves around, you know, the states to find out um and so he became the first one here in utah there's another gal in ogden that she has one but it's not near what his is um so anyways he opened up the salt cave um to the benefits of it so some of the benefits of the the salt is so you go into this cave it's totally man-made um but they shipped in all the bricks and th they built this cave um, even the vents have salt blowing out in them. Um, the floor has, I think like 800 pounds of salt put on it. Um, but th the reason being is that the salt, so you have your negative ions and you have your positive ions and how the negative and the positive attack each other. And th and that, and when they do, that's when you have inflammation. That's when you have disease. That's when you have all kinds of things that your body gets out of balance with. Um, and the healing process doesn't, you know, I mean, when you have this, you've got the healing process. It's really going for, but anyways, um, the benefits of it are just amazing. You walk in there and you feel the energy shift and change is immediate once you walk in the cave. And every time I go down for a Reiki salt bath session or if I, or if they don't have a session going on, then I just go and I'll go sit in the cave and, and meditate. Um, but I always walk out and the only way I can describe it is that you just feel so much better. Um, my aunt, I took her for her birthday first time she'd ever gone and I couldn't explain it until we got out of there. And she's like, you're right. It's the feeling of going there and experience it. It's really hard to put into words and, and explain. Um, but anyways, um, I go down there for the healing, for the inflammation, um, everything that has to do with diseases and all that that everybody has going on or whatever. I mean, it just helps you heal. Um, but the um, point of the the negative and the positive with the ions is it the salt brings down the inflammation. It gets the healing processes process going. Um, nothing can live in that cave as far as like fungus goes or bacteria goes or viruses go. So it's actually the safest place to be when COVID hit. And believe me, I was down there all the time. Um, I have a pass. So I, anybody that's never been, I'll take you. I can go all the time. Um, I take everybody <laughs> or I'll go by myself. I don't care. Um, but anyways, so we went and took her, I took a couple days before that, my other girlfriend, cause it was her birthday. So I took her, um, but you go in there, and I always have an experience, too. I always have visitors that come. I have a chief that he comes, and he, and I, and the Pleiadians will come, and they'll, and I get downloads. I get experiences. I get all kinds of crazy stuff that happens to me. But it's a wonderful, wonderful experience, you guys. Dr. Stone's an amazing, sweet man. I mean, this guy, the minute you walk in and you see him, he just illuminates, like, beautiful energy, sweetness. You just want to hug this man. Anyway, just love his energy. I mean, I can sit and listen to him talk for hour, for hours. I mean, he's just, he's just such a, be he's just a beautiful person. That's all I can say, and it shows. So, um, anyways, get down there, try it out. The benefits are amazing. You will feel amazing. Um, 
it clears as far as your sinuses go clears any kind of gunk going on with that if you got anything going on with your lungs it pulls all the gunk out of your lungs it helps you heal with your lungs um i've gone in there and my back was killing and my knee was hurting and and within minutes you're in there the pains go away sometimes um i can't stand up completely straight you go in you come walking you come walking out and you're standing up completely straight but when you go in there um and you have the experience with the reiki um or any of the people that come in to do the sound bass with the the crystal bowls and all that um different drums and i mean uh, i say i guess they're horns um the old ancient instruments so he combines the sound therapy with the salt and that's a killer combination of healing okay um so that just gets everything aligning up and it allows you a way to heal without having to talk about it so your meridians line up your chakras block blockages come out of your chakras um whatever medical maladies you have going on it starts to clear those up and gets the healing it lasts for 48 hours from the time you leave there um that, that the healing and everything you just took in keeps going in your system um but like i said it's a it's a great experience the people that he has that work there and that come in and do these they're all great people they're all just lovely 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 people and i can never talk enough about it if i could open my own salt cave i would so do it i would have my own salt cave so anyways, just something for you guys to think about and to try out. Um, just to sit in the cave, I think it's $25, which and you can go in for a whole hour. You just have to call ahead of time and book, say I want to go in for a salt, I mean, uh, sit in the cave. If you want to go to a bath salt session, um, then those I believe are 30 or 45, but I, I buy a pass each time because it's cheaper that way. So anyways, look it up, the centered stone down in Spanish Fork. Oh, so anyways, sorry, got a track. So I, they always have, cool, he always has cool things there too. So um, anyways, um, when I was down there with my girlfriend, they had Utah selenite and it's hard to find. Not, I mean, everybody has selenite. This is like regular selenite. This is like the selenite that everybody sees. Okay. Selenite is one of those amazing crystals because selenite, um, kyanite is the same thing, but selenite and kyanite will clear out everything and they clear out themselves. So they're one of the few crystals that can clear things out. Selenite acts as a conductor and amplifier. Okay. Besides it clears things out. Um, I sleep with it in my pillowcases um, because then you sleep better. Um, you won't, if you astro travel, if you know anything about that, or you go work in the 5D, um, it will keep you more grounded and it'll keep you protected. So when you do leave, you won't be catching all those little nasty entities along the way. Okay. So this is a piece of Utah selenite. Look how beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the minute I found this, just like right here in my hand, perfect. I was just like, and the minute you put this in your hand, I feel it right in my abdomen and right in my stomach. And it's this feeling that comes over you that is really peaceful, centered. And you, you just, it, all I can say is you just feel good. So anyways, Utah sel Selenite. I was so pleased. Um, so then I bought my aunt one. I'm giving my daughter, I bought my daughter a piece. Um, she doesn't even know it. <laughs> Anyways, here's another one. And there's another little piece. So, Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. I love selenite. Everybody should have selenite. You're going to need some selenite for the retrograde that's coming up. Um, oh, you guys want to get for the retrograde coming up. You got, Oh, I picked up a piece of petrified. A new piece of petrified wood there, too. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Petrified wood is huge, you guys, in a retrograde. Make sure you get petrified wood. Here's another piece of petrified wood. It comes in, It's all different. It depends on what part of um, the world that's been mined in. So these are all different places that I've gathered these up in. Some's raw, some's tumbled. This is a great piece. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah. And 
Oh, rutilated quartz. That's another good piece to have um, when we're going through a retrograde. And then, um, oh, here's another. Sorry. This is a tumbled piece of petrified wood. Okay, that's tumbled. Here's another cool raw piece. This is some rutilated quartz. Get that picked up for the retrograde. Okay. And, oh. This is a seer stone. So I just had that with it because I keep that with my stuff for the retrograde. So anyways, I will um, do a, I'm get one of the next, so that we're going to have a retrograde pre-starts on the 16th, guys. So buckle up, get your bubble wrap and get your hard hat handy, okay? Because all kinds of crazy shit happens when a retrograde comes. So just giving you a pre-warning. Please don't make any major decisions during a retrograde either. And just be aware the past is going to be coming on back. Because that's what happens in a retrograde. It kind of tests you in your south node. Sends you back life lessons. Sends you back people from the past. Yes, Meg. What's going on, Barry Cares? Thank you. I love yous. Yes. Okay. So, anyways, make sure I will have that up. Before the 16th, because the pre-retrograde starts the 16th. And then there's a, I think the pink full moon is on the 16th that starts too. So, we've got both of those. Oh, I think that's when the moon, the the moon and the retrograde started together this time, I think. Anyways, I don't know. I got it written down. My little head's always got so much going on. All right. So, um, we have, the angels are saying that you're going to need to be understanding for something that's coming up, okay? And you need to have awareness, okay? So watch your in, watch your environment and your surroundings, okay, guys? And get you some hematite, okay? Hematite helps you ground, okay? <coughs> get you some moonstone. Okay, Moonstone helps with the cycles, closing out cycles, okay? And in retrogrades, it's about not letting old cycles open up and keeping them closed. And maybe some that you haven't closed, you're going to finally close. So get you some Moonstone that will really help out. Um, moonstone looks different too. It depends on where it's mined. I had a, and I gave it away to somebody the other night that was over that needed it. No, yeah, it's not here anymore. Not in here anyways. But I have several pieces. So get you some moonstone. Oh, the awakening crystal. Woo! Emotional healing. I want a piece of this so bad. And I'm waiting. There's a piece I want at Dave's. Um, but it hasn't gone on sale yet. But it is beautiful. So this helps you with spiritual awakening. So <laughs> guaranteed this card came out. We've got some spiritual awakenings going on here. And the Moonstone card came out. And then the Hematite card came out. Let's see what else did we have down here. Brazilianite. Oh, that's flexibility. I don't have a piece of this, but I've seen it. I want to get some. So you guys are going to need to work on being flexible. Okay? Meg, come here, baby girls. All right, so let's get with our star seed cards that fell out. Ooh, you guys, there's a lot. Megan. Okay. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Okay, so let's hear that again. Forge, not follow. Don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Well, hello, guys. You're Sagittarians. You guys do like to lead more than follow. And you're sometimes not the greatest team players. So that can be something that you guys struggle with. What's going on? I know. I've got to finish this video. And then, okay, you just got to calm down. Go get a toy. Can you go get a toy, please? Thank you. All right. Deep cellular healing. Ooh. Arctic. Um, Ar I cannot talk. Articus energy. Physical and emotional healing. Yeah. You guys. Some of you are either in a spiritual awakening or some of you are about to i won't be surprised if the cracked open card shows up here which if that does i'm sorry okay oh get your toy you're not alone 
isolation connection community okay so a bunch of you when you go through a spiritual awakening a lot of times people feel really alone they feel like they don't belong nobody understands them feel awkward weird out of place like discombobulated um what's the other word i use um um like you don't fit in displaced there you go displaced that's the word i was looking for okay fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites ex ex extremities of life okay hmm, somebody's gonna go through it or you already are the golden children Woo! somebody's going through a portal this is about inner child healing this is totally about totally 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 and this is about when you go through that inner child healing it's also about getting in touch with your childlike innocent side the tender part of you the pure part of you okay the reason think about it the reason why children are so connected to the other side in the angelic realm is because they're pure they haven't had any experiences yet that have hurt them or harmed them so that they create a reality of what they think the world is so children are the most purest forms of anything okay that's why kids don't a lot of times kids people think they're making stuff up and they're really telling the truth um so you also have rare gifts that you have yet to tap into so there's a portal there's a portal some of you have already gone through and some of you are about to with this retrograde so i remember this is about the soul plan um your destiny, what you're fated for in life, what you're meant here to do. This is getting in touch with that. This is them knocking on your door, giving you signs, you know. Whoops. Star bathing. Light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation, baby. There you go. Woo! Crystal grids, okay, guys? Um, I work with crystal grids all the time. I don't have too much stuff on the one that I was using before. Um, but you can get grids everywhere. And use the, the, the crystals you're guided to use or rocks. Take it. Decorate that grid how intuitively you feel that you need to do it. Okay? It doesn't have to be like perfect or how other people say to do it. Intuitively... The crystal grid will work for you on how you set it up and what you're intuitively guided to use for it, okay? Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before, okay? So this is when past life activation is starting to open up. So some of you might be having dreams, um, or having a lot of deja vu, or are feeling like, I get it now, like the light bulb went off, okay? So I pulled some star seed cards. So we have our ancient future. Okay. You're a part of the new world that we're trying to bring in as light workers and the new ancient future. We're talking before the Bible. Okay. The sound of the universe. Okay. So this is about frequencies, vibration, sound. Just like what I was talking about, where you go down to the, the the cave for, okay? You combine that with the salt therapy and the frequencies and the music. It's amazing what your body will do. Um, I have a playlist with ton under healing, tons of music in there to turn on at night when you go to bed, and you'll sleep better, you'll heal, and you will have some clarity, and you'll just feel different. My dog can't go to bed now without those on. <laughs> I have to have my YouTube channel up on my phone going all night long for her. And man, the minute I, I, I get it going, she gets so excited. And she looks at me and lays her little head down on my chest and she'll go to sleep. She's the cutest thing in the whole world. Anyway, I we've had, she's still a puppy. So nighttime, when it's time to go to bed, it's like a re wrestling for a half an hour with her to get her to calm down to go to bed. And one night I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this on her because I do, I got out of doing it for me for a while. Um, but I'm back into it again, going to sleep that way because of all the benefits. So I thought I'm going to see if this works on her. Sure enough. Sure did. My little girl. That's how she goes to bed every night. 
Okay, your unique gifts. You have so many unique gifts. You may be able to channel. You may be able to read. You may be a healer of some form. Reiki, yoga. Um, you may heal people with crystals, okay? Um, you also may be what we can... I mean, nurses, doctors are healers. EMTs, paramedics, firemen, teachers, counselors. You guys are all healers, okay? It's just not to the spiritual realm. So, but there's something that a bunch of you are doing and you're not quite tapping all the way in, okay? But you will, you will. Beyond the mind, okay? This is all beyond the mind. So a lot of you are having a hard time comprehending all this right now and it could be freaking you out. It's okay, I promise, it's okay. The infinite. Ooh, this is about the infinity symbol. Get yourself an infinity symbol and start wearing it, okay? infinite that's what you're tapping into when you tap into that you will start tapping into what we call key codes and key lines okay so study that it's from the ancient past key codes and key lines um i will do a video eventually on all that stuff so you guys understand it more um i have a deck of cards oh it, it, it's in it's in the um i have two decks of light worker cards and uh the key codes and key lines are in there so but anyways once you tap into the infinite you now have a connection with the key lines and the key codes um the key lines have a lot to do with the giant crystals that were left underground um that connect from atlantis okay i can do a whole video on that too that is super interesting um so i eventually Eventually, one of these, I'm going to start a series on all that, too, because that stuff just fascinates me. I've learned about it for years and years now, um, and it's very, very interesting. I love ancient history, ancient knowledge, all of that. Okay, so then I pulled out some oracle cards. Competition, some encourage and self-confidence. You got some competition going on somewhere, okay? This could be at work. Um, this could be in your personal life. Just know if it's not there, it's coming or you're not, you're not paying attention. All right. Face your fears, release the power of fear. Okay. Fear drives us to be stagnant, to get into ruts and to wait till the next day. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Get out of that. You guys are born leaders. Set your goals. Ow. You just bit my little hand when you're trying to chomp on that. Careful, Maggie. Leadership. Set your goals, okay? You guys are leaders. You're not followers. Be the leader, okay? This is Leo energy. It's the Empress. So we might have an Empress on board here. Archangel Gabriel, I love him. Oh, Yeah, I know. He's the messenger of creativity and hope. Okay, he's here. He's he's he. Besides that, he also helps heal. Okay, relationships helps people kind of learn how to um, communicate. Helps people with compromising. Okay, how it could have to do with this competitive thing here. Seven heavenly virtues. Oh boy, there you go. The study up on the seven heavenly virtues. Most of you know what that means. Okay, Battle of the Blues, okay? That's going to go back with facing your fears, okay? Do not get stuck in the Battle of the Blues. There you go. Look what happened. If you're there, you end up there. Don't go there so you don't end up there, all right? So this could be happening now or, be, or coming. So then I pulled some soul cards for you guys, too, okay? Seed of the Heart. Get out of that name. You're being seeded. So you know the term used, um, plant your seeds in spring and then they harvest in fall, okay? I'm talking about seeds of life. That's what this is, okay? The seed in your heart is now open, okay? Now, 
This has to do with your throat chakra and your heart chakra, this card, okay? So, some of you at the moment might be closed off with your heart. And you might be closed off. You be having a hard time speaking your truth, okay? Well, speaking your truth usually has to do with your heart. So, the seed has now been planted in your heart. You know what this means. It's different for every person. Look up the number 25. Ooh! <laughs> whoa, whoa! I love this card. God speaks. Okay? This is going to be a powerful read here. Okay? Master number. God speaks. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Number 33. Ooh, I just got the chills. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, becoming. This is stepping into who you are. Becoming who you are. Stepping into your life purpose. Your journey. Your personal journey. No one else's. Just yours. This is awesome so far. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Well... This angel comes about insight. It was in the reverse. So somebody's refusing to see something. They're trying to give you insight. Okay? Don't ignore your intuition. This angel is with you. This is part of uh, this angel of insight. He's part of uh, Michael's crew. So he is part of Michael's crew. Ooh, the friendship angels here. Okay? So this angel's coming. So this could this spirit just says has to do something with this competition. So you might have a friend in competition competition with you and you don't even know it. Because you wouldn't be, but they are. Okay? But you guys are competitive by nature. So maybe this is you competing with a friend. I don't know. It'll we'll figure it it'll, it'll come out in these cards, but you know it's your story, not mine. Nurturing, okay? This is Raphael energy. This is about self-love, nurturing yourself, taking time out for yourself, getting outside and grounding. This angel is hounding you. Angel of knowledge. Angel of knowledge. It's about the tree of life, the book of life, okay? There is a lot of knowledge that's not even been tapped into. You need to start seeking and searching. You'll find the answers you need. There's a ton of knowledge in you that you don't even know you carry and have. And it needs to get out. I don't be surprised if the teacher card comes out in one of the decks here. Okay. Strength. Okay. There's that Leo energy. That Leo, the leadership energy. So the angel of strength. Look. 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 They're here. But you guys, okay? This is major Leo energy here. Woo! The angel of truth. Okay. Makes sense. The, both of these are part of Michael's crew. So you got you got a lot of angelic guidance here. Oh, I just talked about Gabriel a minute ago. <sighs> Raphael, look. Yeah, they're on. They're on board. All right, guys. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right. Let's see what this, what's going on. What do we have going on? Mm -hmm. So oh, there's some fake love. Somebody's walking away. Somebody that's perceiving themselves that they they love or care about somebody. Ooh, trickery. Somebody's not listening to spirit. You guys are here in your own read. Huh. This is you guys in your own read. Temperance. You're not listening. Nope. 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 Because nope. this is going on. This is trickery. Whoops. Whoops. Trickery. Trickery. No, oh, God. You guys better not have some kind of crazy scandal or something going on. Too much of that lately in all the zodiacs. But we're going to clear this out. Okay, so there's, there's something going on behind the scene. I have a feeling this Knight of Cups is involved. 
Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy here. We got Leo on board again too. So because of this right here, there won't be this. Okay, this is the best card in the deck to me. Everybody, if you read Tarot Land, if you're in Tarot Land and all that, if you read it properly, Tarot is the Fool card. I disagree. The Fool is zero. The Fool is the Fool. I'm not, I, that's not one of my favorite cards. I love the Sun card, okay? To me, the Sun card is the ultimate card in the deck, but that's just me, okay? All right, um... Cycle over. The cycle is over. So there's a cycle that's over. Hmm. Page of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Got that night. The night upward. So I don't know. This could be. We've either got children involved or teenagers here. Oh, or we have somebody that's really immature. Really immature. I, I I am going towards this is a relationship because we have this here. Gosh. This is in reverse. This is two of cups. This is what we all want. But it was in the reverse. So, somebody has a fake cup of love that they're they've offered it or they're gonna offer it. Or they're gonna come back spirit just said and offer it again. Okay, but they're really a knight. Okay, they're really a knight. They're not a king. The knights come in, they charge in, they charge out. They come in to get you hooked. Hook, line, and sinker, and leave. Okay, you don't want that. No, no, no. Okay, but somebody's walking away. Okay, someone pulled their head out. They're gonna walk away from this. Oh, yeah, this is a shit storm. Oh, God, you got the stalker on board. Okay. This is somebody emotionally dis... Oh, this person? Spirit just told me. Somebody is emotionally disturbed here, okay? This is Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And we also have Gemini and Aquarius too, between these three cards, okay? But this page of swords... This is a liar. This is a thief. This is a problem starter. This person throws rocks and hides their hands. Okay? This is somebody that loves to gossip. Loves to gossip. This is somebody that gets on everybody's uh, YouTube channels and stalks us. And then talks shit on all of us and makes fake pages. And wastes all that energy and time talking shit on all of us. But yet... They won't go start their own YouTube channel. They won't go out and try to do some good out in the world. They'd rather just talk crap and tear people down. That's who this person is. And then they come in and they offer fake love. There is nothing. This is... Look. look. The fish is poking out at him like, what? Yeah. It's in reverse. There's nothing in that cup. It's empty. It's not overflowing. You don't see it overflowing with anything. Okay? It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Just telling you. Plus, they stalk you. They stalk you, and, and then they're going to come in with this fast energy. This is emotion. They come in, and this is the love bomber, okay? This is the gaslighter of all gaslighters. I'm just telling you. They'll come in, and once they get you all back up in your head, mind screwed, and they, they think they got you where they want you, they'll leave again. He will be out the door. Okay, there was a plan all along. See all those choices down there he's got, he's fighting off? <laughs> Just one of many. Oh, yeah. No love. No happy ending here. Nope. Over. No ten of cups. Okay. Here you guys are again. Woo, you guys are heavy. Okay. Now you're upright. So we have you reversed and upright. So we got to figure out who's reversed and who's upright. Okay. We got death and transformation. This is Scorpio energy. It's upright. So we, we got transformation. We love that. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. This is about building your money. 
I also say hoarding it on that card. Um, this is telling the truth. So someone wants to speak the truth, this, or the truth is going to come out. Spirit, just the truth is going to come out no matter what. Yep. Page of Swords. Look, he's in. He's up right now. We have him in. Didn't I say? Didn't I say Page of Swords? Yeah. No, is that Page of Cups? Sorry. Yes, and Page of Swords. Mate, don't do that, baby girls. Yes, we have the Page of Swords in reverse and the Page of, page of Swords upright. All right, so we got to figure out. We got to figure out what that's about, too. Who is that one about? Somebody was juggling. So my guess is it's this Knight of Cups was the was juggling. Ooh. Oh, I already told you cycle over. Yeah, I did. We got a page of pentacles here. Oh my lord. So we got a trifecta going on here, people. This is just fake. Fake, 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 fake. There's karma. There's karma. There's karma. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's get some shuffles going. I want to dig into this. Okay. All right. Let's find out. What? Let's just see. I shuffled this. <laughs> no victory. No victory. It's in reverse. No victory. It's in the bottom. Queen of Wands. Okay, this is making more sense now. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, another knight. This, that is Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Queen of Wands. That's uh, you guys showing up in... Uh, Shut up in your own read. So we got a queen of wands and we have a bunch of knights. All right, queen. What you been up to? Been a playa playa, huh? Sharpening those mad skills of yours. Hmm. All right, spirit. Well, we know this is about the Queen of Wands and her sidekicks. And this isn't going to end. The cycle is going to close out. But is this by her choice? Spirit? Is this by her choice that this cycle is going to close out? She is stuck in her head. Okay? Saji, you're stuck in your head. You're in a mental imprisonment over all these options and these choices. Do you see this? Yeah. You were playing the field. Playing the field. Chariot. I heard something flip. Did it flip? No flipper there. We got flippers. Jump us. Bottom of the deck. King of Swords in reverse. Ooh. That's nasty. Yeah. Woo. Ooh. He. Ooh. I don't like his energy. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Nope. 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 Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, somebody's stuck in a relationship. This came out sideways. Someone is stuck. It's either a marriage or it's a long-term relationship. Spirit says there's a scenario of a short term here too. Okay? So, someone feels stuck. They thought this was the Six of, six of Cups. This is like soulmate. This is like... That person that you meet, and like you can um, finish the other person's sentences. You can you can look at each other and know what they're thinking without saying it. That's this card, the Six of Cups, the soulmate energy. Okay, so somebody 
presented themselves as a king, but they're not. Okay? They want to come forward. Okay? They want to come forward. Okay? So it's this uh, King of Swords in reverse. This is a bitter bum. Yeah, he's not happy camper. This guy... I can't even talk right now. Because he, he, he can't even talk. He's so angry and so mad. What went on here? And he's not going to put down his options or his choices, Spirit just told me. He's mad because you are not cycling with him anymore. You aren't doing what he wants. He can't control you. His lies, his conniving, his scheming isn't working. The mind fuckery, okay? It's not, you're not buying it, okay? But he's going to come in. He is going to come in fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to come in fast, okay? So that's cancer energy. Um, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? Um, this is not putting your options down. This is like, mm -mm, I'm going to stay with all my options, okay? <laughs> and this is your options going way wrong, way wrong. See all those? Everyone's turning now, gossiping, tattletelling, backstabbing. You thought your friend was your friend. They had your back. They don't. They slept with your best friend. They slept with your neighbor, your coworker, whatever. That's that's this card, okay? So you, Saggy, are out of your devil energy now. You were in this devil energy and you were, you felt locked, connected to this person because <laughs> they came in and presented themselves as a knight of pinnacles, okay? He, he thinks he's a king, but he's not. So he, he comes, he came in as a knight. He appeared, he looks presentable. He, 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 this person could have a job, um, but it wouldn't be career minded. Okay. This would be very, um, like I'm a ski bum in the winter and in the summer I leave and I go to river rafting. Um, because I'm a player. Well, this person is out to scheme you for money. This person will come in. They will appear that they're put together, that they're shit all together. They have a great job, a great career, but they're coming in to use you. But you already know that. You're the queen of wands. Yeah. You know that. Okay? You know that deep down inside. You know that. All they have is this... Page of Cups in River. I mean, this this makes sense now. Okay, hold on. Where did it go? Uh, all right, well, the Page of Cups, we had the Knight of um, Swords in Reverse, okay? And then you have the, the Knight of... Um, yeah, the, sorry, the King of Swords. I'm sorry, the King of Swords in Reverse. You have the... So, this is what he, so, oh, God, this is getting, hold on. Where did it go? I saw it. Yep, comes in as a Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this person wears a lot of faces. A lot of masks. They're all falling off, though. I mean, he's a, he, he comes in as a Knight of Cups. He comes in as a Knight of Pentacles. It's all night energy. This is fast-moving energy. This is, I come in, and I'm going to act like I'm going to save you, but I'm not. I'm going to steal from you, okay? I'm going to totally mentally mind-screw you and leave you brokenhearted, crying in your Cheerios, okay? There is no love. It's it's not. There, there, there's no love. This person, this king of swords, is controlling. He likes to have his way. He wants to come in and put you back in line with him. Put you back in... Uh, oh, what did Spirit just... Hold on. They're showing me, you know, um, a, a turnstile that you go around or... Um, you know, go into a glass, an office building or a hospital and you get in the thing. I don't know what it's called. You know, that goes around. 
that's what they're putting up here in my my third eye that is what they're showing me that he wants to do he wants to get you back on that again it's the merry-go-round he wants you back on the merry-go-round back on the option go round okay <laughs> that's the only way i can explain it i mean he, he's also a knight of cups in reverse or he wands sorry he's a knight of wands in reverse okay Ooh, this person has a sick wand This person sleeps around, gets around, and gives it gives it back around. This is the person that will give you the gift that doesn't stop giving. It's a reverse tower. This is not listening. This is not paying attention. This is not caring. Wow. Ooh. Okay. They can't cloak themselves anymore. They cannot hide themselves. The Like I said, the mask are starting to fall off. The mask are starting to fall off. Okay. Stupid king of swords in reverse. Oof. 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 The liar. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Okay? But the cycle is going to be over. You, 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 you're you, too smart for this. Okay? Um. Apparently, this person was on the line as well. And you don't know about it. Spirit just told me. Okay? There's somebody very young very very young that you don't know about in the works i was just told yeah she's an empress in reverse that's not you that's her empress in reverse this is taurus virgo capricorn oh she's okay empress can be taurus energy too and I oh and I say Aries energy, so other people don't, but I don't care. I relate the Empress to Libra, Taurus, and Aries. Okay. Oh gosh, it's hot in here. Hold on, guys. Gotta get me some air. Ah. All right. Whew. All right. This is can't do this anymore. I've had enough. Okay. Thank goodness you pulled your head out. Look, you did it. Yay. Can't do it anymore. Done. Reverse tower. Okay. And when the reverse tower comes out, that means that somebody is fighting transformation. That means somebody is not wanting. They want to stay stuck in the past. They want to stay backwards. So reverse towers can be bad, guys, because what ends up, you're going to get something um served up to you spirit just said super toxic so some of you are making the transformation some of you are fighting it but there is quite a story going on here okay there was money involved someone is done pouting crying and spilled milk um there was money involved somebody is gonna lose it all this is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So whatever you were building, it's that's why the tower in reverse. Ah. Oh. Spirit says, whoever this person is, money's everything to this king king of swords in reverse. Money is everything. There's a queen of king of wands too that was in reverse. So I'm wondering if he's also embodying that energy. Well, we're gonna find out. Yeah. This is the battle. Ow. Sorry, my thumb. Uh, this is called the battle royale. Okay. And remember, the karma card. The karma card. All right. This is not sitting in spilled milk anymore. Not crying over it. Okay. Now we had, we had um, right here, juggling. And now we don't have juggling. Okay, so we've had, there's been a transformation already through this. All right, let's throw another tarot deck out. This is my special tarot deck. I'm going to save it only when we do special reads. So I will always pull out two tarot decks when we do special reads because then we get confirmation to on what's been going on. But so remember, remember me just saying, ooh, doggy. Okay, remember me just saying that um, somebody lost a bunch of money? Well, there's the, this is the deal that went bad. Okay. It's been exposed. 
the deal that went bad. It's been exposed. Oh, yeah. I guess we're going to have to throw out some more angels out here. Ooh, we're already almost on an hour, so we're going to have to finish this up. It goes by so fast. It's me. How much I can talk. All right. <sighs> Secrets are coming out. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I The moon card to me is those three. I don't care what other people say. Uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. Remember me talking about someone's wand is broken? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three cards now out saying somebody has used their wand way too much, too freely. Yep. Oh, this is twice now, this card. Okay. Hold on. I will find it again. These are about all those toxic options and choices. Yep. Totally toxic. This is like anything that they can serve up to you to tempt you, to get you to make the wrong choice. They, they tried it. They did it. Not anymore. Someone's learned here. I know. I saw that card. Ah, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. 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 Figured it out. Figured it out. Okay. Look at these. Look at these choices. Look at these options. See that? Mm-mm. No. We want the nine of cups. We don't want the seven. Okay. There it is again. Look at them. No, you're not a snake charmer. Okay. Seven of Wands. This is twice now. This is the fuckery card, man. This is the battle royale. This is trickery. This is... Ugh. Okay, there's the Knight of Wands again. Knight of Wands again. Okay. All right. Tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more. What's going on here? Six of Swords. Somebody's trying to flee. Get away. Six of Swords. The Lovers. Gemini Energy. Somebody's blindfolded, though. Somebody is not seen. Okay, this is where this is why that competition card was out here. This is all competition, but it's copy. You're competing with children. This, this is this is this is a man with a total mindset of a child. Okay, plus they're emotionally disturbed. With the King of Swords in reverse, liar, con. I mean, mean, mean. This is somebody that belittles you diminishes your existence, who you are, puts you down, makes fun of you. Yeah, that's exactly who this person is. Yeah, look at that. Stick you ten swords in the back. Ten swords in the back. They don't even care. They don't care. They'll leave you there. Yeah. Cycle over, man. Cycle over card. Yep. Nine of Wands. It's all those choices. All those options. You see, you can see through it. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. And we had the 10 of wands in reverse. So that's when you've had enough. I know it was a price, right? Two of wands, okay? This is putting your options down. Finally making a decision going, okay, I think I want to be with one person. Queen of Cups. <laughs> There's the man. There's the man. Okay? He's upright. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, saggy lady. You got it. There's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Somebody's money isn't froze up anymore. The member height said whatever happened, whatever deal was made, whatever was going on behind the scenes, that it's unknown. No more. Go by. Get the money. The money part. Somebody's still sitting around while crying about this. 
Yeah, someone's still sitting around crying about it. Mm, come on, talk to me, spirit. Woo. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, boy. Someone's back to the drawing board. Yep. Someone's back to the drawing board. Trying to come back in at you with a new plan. It's not going to work. Could be a Leo. Or an Earth Energy. Okay. You have now stepped into your Queen, to, uh, queen, queen of Pentacles energy. Okay. You're working on your money. You may have got a new job. Um, or a new job offer could be coming in a new opportunity. But you're focused. You've bossed up, lady. Yes. Hats off to you, girl. Nine of Cups. You're like, oh, I've had enough. I'm good. I'm good. I'm partied out. You broke the fun meter, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Queen of Cups. <laughs> okay. You are in your Queen of Cups energy, too. Woo girlfriend yeah let's go one more round yes yes ten of cups there we go you okay you you are stepping into the queen of pentacles energy the queen of cups energy and you are the queen of wands wow the only thing we're missing here is the queen oh, 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 oh i just said the only thing we're missing here and i look down and look that was the next card Queen of Swords, you have mastered every one of your queens here. Oh, I love this. Yes. Way to go, Saggy. <laughs> yeah. Three of Wands. No more options, but watch your back, okay? I always say in that card, watch your back, though. Because one of them is going to try to pop up. Yeah, one of them is going to try to come in and create a heartbreak. What did I just say? It's that Empress in Reverse. Empress in Reverse. They're going to try to come after the Queen of Cups. You got this. That's you. Okay? That is you. You're in Empress mode. You haven't popped out, but you've mastered all four queens. So, by all means, you're the Empress, sweet pea. Yes. Look at you. Look how cute he is. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Okay. The last roll. Tower. Okay. Tower. That could be. It just depends. Not. Remember. Towers. Are not happening to you. They are for you. Okay. Not all towers are bad. Okay. Well. He's going to try to come in upright. Ah, ha, ha. He knows about the King of Cups, so he's trying to get himself together. He's he's going to come in and appear upright to you, sweetheart. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, no. He's really the King of Pentacles in reverse. But he's going to come in and try to offer you gifts okay he's ah, he's a king of pentacles in reverse but he's gonna come in if you have kids he is gonna try to smooth over your kids to get to you he knows the heart to to you as your children yeah yeah but really he's again that king of wands energy okay it's like you go, it's it's you guys, but he's in the fire, he's in the fiery energy. I don't like this King of Wands. King of Wands in this deck. To me, he is so this is you know, road hard, put away wet. Look at him. And then just look he looks he just looks like a creep. <coughs> he don't, <coughs> he don't like me saying that. But the cycle's over. The cycle's over. There's nothing he can do. He wants to come out in her out of hermit mode, though. It could be a Virgo involved too, um, but he's going back in the karmic cycle. 
he doesn't. This is three times. No, twice now. The world card we've had. Okay. Yeah. We had it in the beginning. I don't know where it went, but we had we had it in the beginning. We had it in the beginning, but cycle over. Cycle over. Karma has been reversed. I remember one of the first cards. There you go. Karma. Could have been something going on under this last little moon cycle. I don't know. You're the only one that will know. Okay. Wow. There was a lot going on here, guys. There, there, there really was. Um, this is one person that is really multifaceted. He really is the king of swords in reverse. He try, he's going to try to come back to you as the queen, king of swords upright, mentally all together, speaking. He's going to try to. He's going to try to manipulate you and and like i said try to come in and and be um oh you oh come on honey you know i'm telling the truth oh i would never to lie to you that person's the liar i'm not the liar yeah he he's gonna wow all right he, he's gonna totally come in and try to use mental manipulation on you. He will he, he will get angry though. He's going to get angry when you when you don't listen. He's going to come in as the knight of pentacles and he's going to try to offer some stuff, okay? Cuz he doesn't want to transform. He does not want to transform. He's resisting it. Sorry. He's he, he's resist, resisting it, but you have transformation, okay? No matter what. So, wow quite the read for you guys okay there's a lot going on here you know what take what resonates leave the rest throw it away it's not always your whole story all the way through if parts of it could be yours parts of it could fit with someone else okay don't make things fit if they don't they don't okay because then you'll manifest things that aren't going on so don't so don't do that okay all right guys i love you to death remember like subscribe and please share we need to get our messages out all right um get prepared for the mercury retrograde coming up i will get that video out if it's the late of the i'll have it out by the fifth what is today the 13th okay oh yeah yeah, yeah. all right when all right thinking about everything i have going on okay what are we on We're on wednesday thursday friday so the 15th right thursday friday all right so tomorrow my goal is tomorrow night to have that retrograde um, video up, okay? So I really want you guys to, to use that. Think about it. Make sure that you guys are giving some peace to someone and giving it to yourself, okay? Forgive. Forgive. Even if it's someone you don't want to forgive because that forgiveness is for you. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. I love you guys to death. I'm so happy all the people we have on this channel and that are a part of our tribe. We're all moving forward, okay? We want to spread the love. We want to spread the light. We want to get the truth out there. We want to help people that are awakening. And they, they're, they're, it's a scary thing. I know it is. And, and, and when that happened to me, there was not many people around that knew what was going on. Thank God I had my cousin. Because if I didn't have her, I don't know what I would have done. Because she's always believed in me. And, um, like I said, bless her. I love you, Kelly Jesperson. Um, but just know, you're not alone. This just made me want to cry. <laughs> Somebody's really emotional. I can feel someone's emotions. Um, just know, you're not alone. I don't know what's going on with you. But you're a good person. you got a lot of love to give. Um, wow. That's crazy, whoever you are. Whew. Um. Oh. Sorry. Spirit, I'm I'm listening. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm listening. Um just had me look at this card here. Willingness, okay? Somebody needs to be more willing, okay? Be more willing. I don't know if this is being okay. It's being more willing to go forward in this journey. And, and I was there. And that's why I, all these emotions are coming up on me. You're struggling. You're in the midst of this spiritual awakening. Trust me. Emotions 
flow and flood when you go through an awakening. You'll have days where you're going to be bawling and you don't even know why you're crying. But let it go. Purge it. Let it get out. For me, I walk. I walk and cry and purge and talk. And people might think I'm crazy when they see me going down the road and I got my headphones in and I'm... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but you wouldn't believe how much I work out. And then when I come home... I, I've worked out all those problems out of me, and I feel so much better. Plus, my dog loves me. <laughs> um, but I clear my head. I can walk for hours by myself with my dog and just go. Um, <laughs> when I used to live in my townhome, oh, my God, I would walk sometimes so far. I'd be like, oh, Roxy, how are we going to get home? I don't know if I can make it back. <laughs> One time I had to call my kids. And I'm like, you got to come get me. I'm not going to make it back. I've walked way too far, and I can't get back. I'm such a weirdo. But anyways, just know um, what you're going through. You're going to be okay. Please don't go backwards. I know how easy it is because when you start having all these feelings that don't feel good and you start feeling like you don't belong, that no one understands you, you don't have a place here, you, you don't want to be a part of all this, it's too hard, I don't want to do it, that's, the, that's right when you're at that part of like... If you go back, you're going to be stuck again backwards. And every time you go back, it's harder to get back out. Okay? And that's when something will come up to tempt you to get you back off that path. Because they know intuitively those negative entities and spirits and people out there, they know, it, they know intuitively that this is your weak point. And this is at the point that they can come after you and turn you back again to the south node. Okay? So... Please don't. Just go into hiding. I, I, I Hide. Uh, what you got? I mean, go cry your brains out. Sleep. Eat. And, um, I mean, everybody's different. Some people will work out. Some people hike. Some people bike. Some people um, dance. Some people play instruments. I mean, w whatever it is for anybody. Um, but to do that thing that gives you some peace, find that. And make that for the next month and a half. Because I, you're going to have to stay awake. And you're going to have to stay healing in the next month and a half. Because this retrograde is going to push you in the direction you need to go in once it's over. Okay? If not, this retrograde is going to take advantage of you. And it's going to push you backwards. And you're going to go back into the past life lessons. And you're going to get served up stuff that will appear to be better but it's not it's that seven of cups bullshit okay all right all right guys so i'm gonna end it here love you lots bring it forward okay let's work on responding and not reacting i'm here with you guys everything i talk about on this channel pertains to me as well okay i'm not here to make people feel bad i'm here to i give it out raw it, it comes out of me the way it's meant to come out of me. I'm sorry if I offend you. If I do, it's just too bad. That's the way it is. I'm not going to be fake and phony, and I'm not going to word things to appease anybody. This is my channel, <laughs> and this is my free time. And I put in 20 to 30 hours a week besides my regular job in creating this and putting this out here for you guys. So please take it in, okay? There are so many videos. I have nothing to do with card readings. <clears throat> that can help you and i'm working on getting the our library filled up go into my playlist there's so much music i channel music and it's not always for me it's for you guys too okay plus i put in the playlist stuff that i love that i grew up with and that i listen to now so there's a lot of stuff in there that may absolutely help you okay then i have a whole section on healing music when you go through this spiritual awakenings like this remember Start seeking from the past to get answers to why what's happening to you now. And maybe you had past life crap that you have to clear up. So now you can go forward. Which I'm going to start. I will eventually get into all that. Because I love the past life stuff. I'm so intrigued by it. <clears throat> Once you go into a spiritual awakening. You, you, can't, you have to go back. Or you can't understand where you're going in the future. It's just, it's just a part of it. Okay. And it's how we clear out cycles and people. And places and things too. Um. But once you go and you start researching, dots will connect, okay, about your past history of who you are. 
past lives, even genetically, heretic. I mean, so much. So I have lots of stuff down there, guys. Looking, um, there's some of you may connect to Egypt. Some of you may connect to Greece. Some of you may be star seeds. Some of you may be Pleiadians. Some of you, I mean, there's so much indigo, rainbow. Um, some of you may be back in the times of Atlantis, Sumerians, Anunnaki's, okay? I can go on and on forever and talk about this subject matter forever and ever and talk people's heads off, okay? Um, but I'm, I had a huge library at one point. I don't know what happened, but my stuff got hacked and somebody deleted a bunch of my stuff. So I'm building that library back up, um, but there's a ton of videos in there that people are super inspirational that I listen to on a daily, weekly basis. Um, people that I love to listen to. So I've also put those down in there. I've also have subscribed to a lot of different readers. Um, and some of them I listen to, some of them I don't. Um, but I've done that for a reason so that you guys get a different flavor. Some of you won't resonate with me. Some of you, I will trigger you to death and you won't ever want to hear me again. Some of you will fall in love with me and be like, I found my person to help me, that gets me, that understands me. And that's what I want. So I put a bunch of different other people down there because everybody's different, okay? Everybody, some people like really quiet readers um, that are more monotone they're more um they do things systematically that is not me okay i i'm full of life i am full of personality um I, i'm bigger than life and, and my per who i am and my being and my energy so i i can't keep it low unless i'm upset and if i'm upset and i'm vibing low i won't be doing videos so if you see me for periods of time where i'm not on i'm going through my own stuff or I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm exhausted and tired. Um, and I do have another life, you know, besides all my two jobs. <laughs> I do have kids that I love and love to spend time with. And I do have friends that I love to go do. And I have a lot of wide interests and hobbies um, that I do as well. So, um, with that being said, I have put other readers down there. Because some people like a different style, a different personality. I won't be offended. Okay. That stuff doesn't bother me. I've known my whole life I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So that, that like I said, that doesn't bug me. Um, I am me. So, and who who I am is good with me. And it's taken me a long, long time to fall back in love with myself from all of my past trials and tribulations and challenges I've had throughout my life. But I, I do. So I want to get you all there um, and get you all in your north node. So that's our goal. And, um, all right, I, I got to quit talking because now I've got to get, I don't mean, what time is it? Oh, we're already on 10 o'clock. Okay, so I'm going to um, get up the uh, Aries reading because I want to get that up because I know you guys have been waiting for these bonus reads. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to get out that video on retrograde so that you guys can get prepped and get to your crystal stores and get your stuff bought up that you need to get prepped and armed up um, for this retrograde. Then... I'm going to do a couple of other re, um, videos on subject matter that isn't about reading. And then by the weekend, by the end of the weekend, I will have all of your weekly reads back up again. Sorry I got behind, um, but last week I had a lot going on. I happened to, I lost a friend, a dear, a dear friend from, from childhood um, passed away. So that was a, a real shock to all of us that what happened. So I had to take all that in. <laughs> And um, it also gave me another perspective on life as well. So, anyways, I love you guys to death. Like I said, thank you for being here. Um, and we're going to get bigger. We're going to grow this channel. Please spread the word out. I want to go live. But until we get up to 1,000 subscribers, I can't get my community board. So, we can't do lives. There's a lot of things I can't open up and do until we get there. So, please spread the word, guys. And, um... There's tons and tons of room for all of us to band together, to combine together. And that's what our job here is to do. So I'm never jealous or envious that there's other people doing this. Um, I don't, I, the more of us that are out there spreading the word and helping people, the better off this world's going to be way better off. Okay. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful evening and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.